Aquarius, what's up? And everybody else watching, however you came to this video, there's a message here for you. You're not here by chance. So when you come across that message, just claim it for yourself. Say yes to that. All right. This is a general message though for the sign of Aquarius from 1 till 10 September. Take it as it resonates with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. We're going to take a look at your recent past, your current energy, immediate future, clarify, and then end up with an oracle message and also do a little bit of a recap there at the end to make sure that you get everything into your message. By we, I mean myself and my spiritual team. All right, let's see what do we have there. Let's start with your challenge. Your challenge that you've got for the spirit 1 till 10 September is sort of like, you know, sometimes in life we want to go for things, we want to go for a connection with someone else, we're going to go for something new, you want to challenge yourself, and so you work really hard to kind of get yourself to a certain point, and your challenge seems to be to not sort of talk yourself, reason yourself out of something that's really prosperous and positive for you, all right? So if you maybe do have the thoughts coming up in your mind, Aquarius, of I thought this was the right time, I thought I should have done this, but you know what, I don't really feel, maybe I was just too fast, maybe I was too much in a hurry, maybe, 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 possibly, and perhaps, whoa, 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 easy peasy, you know? It might just be that you're trying to reason yourself out of something really, really good here, okay? Sometimes we just have to allow things to just go forward and just to see what's going to happen. And sometimes we literally have to phrase things with the question of, if I really just allow things to continue and I don't try to sort of like mash it up in a different way, what is the worst thing that can possibly happen, okay? And your mind might give you like a thousand reasons. And the question to ask yourself is, do I really need to re listen to these reasons? Could it be that my fear is just talking to me right now? All right. In the recent past, many, many options, very much in your energy, being in your space, being in your flow, being in your vibe, being in your element, really, you know. I feel that for many of you, you see opportunities in the past and you may have, you know, this could be pertaining to love, but I feel it's more sort of like options around in your life. You know, where you thought, okay, well, I can do this and I can do that. And that is possible and that is possible. So very sort of like, um, you know, bubbly sort of energy, very positive, very motivated. I can do this. I can do that. That can work. That can work. That's really great. And really seeing the potential, which, which is very real, seeing it for what it is. Um, and then because the way your energy aligned there with your energies, um, star energy, Aquarius energy, you really started to get in flow with the universe, in flow with your energy, in flow with, you know, getting your, your dreams turning into reality, your manifestations, appreciation for where you are, appreciation for yourself, appreciation for life, for your space, saying, yes, this is the right thing, making those powerful moves in life. Yes, 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 yes. Tick a box, tick a box, tick a box. So great, so great, so great, you know. Um, very, very nice. Let's see where that is bringing you at the moment, because I don't know, it feels to me almost like there's something a little bit funky that's about to transpire here. Um, so really beautiful, you're in the space where you want to be at the moment, really amazingly, you're in a space where things can work out so well for you. Um, be careful of trying to drink poison and then expecting not to die, all right? Um, just because you don't always see the changes that you would like to see happening right away doesn't mean that you're not in this flow of this highly abundant energy, okay? Um, be very careful also when you have those thoughts and ideas coming up in your mind. Sometimes we try so hard, we do our best, we commit, and then when things don't go exactly as we envisioned it's going to go or, you know, it's not as smooth sailing as we thought it was going to go, then we start to remember all those things those naysayers sort of had to say before, you know, no, you know, it's not going to work, or are you sure, or you think of where you come from in life, and that sort of thing. So be very careful of um, the sort of energy that you allow into your space, the people that you allow into your space, the things that you give your attention to, the things that you eat. Th these are the very basic things that you want to do at the moment. You want to pay attention to what is it that you bring into your energy. Make sure that you've got proper hydration. Look at your nutrition. Get some, you know, it's like that saying that says, as humans, you're basically like a plant, you know. You need some fresh air, water, and like some sort of fertilization. And, and it sounds like the most simplistic sort of advice to give to someone, but how many times in life 
Have you really been at a point where something was working out really, really well for you? And then it sort of went off the card a bit because you got sick, you got tired, you got exhausted, you got demotivated because you didn't sort of maintain that little bit of things that you need to do for yourself. You know, a lot of times we want to experience these beautiful things in life and you can experience those beautiful things in life. But the thing to remember is that if the you can only experience it to the degree that the body is in sort of like tip top shape type of thing, you know, um, or in, in regards to your your relationship to tip top shape, whatever that means for you, you know. There's no point in really manifesting very hard to say maybe write a book, for example, and then you get this book deal where you go all traveling and all those type of things. But then because you've been slaving away so much to get the book done, um, you don't have the health and the energy to go on the tour. That sort of thing. You know what I mean? Um, there are easier ways coming about for you. Some of you are feeling that you have to take care of every single detail yourself, that I'm the one who has to do it, and if I don't do it, it won't be done properly, and if someone else does it, you know, they may do it right, but they're not going to do it the way that I do Just because something isn't done the way that you would like to have it done doesn't mean that it is not 100% sufficient to serve optimally to your needs. Okay. Let's see what we've got going forward. Potential outcome for you. There's options here. There's this could be a new connection, but I feel that for many of you already dealing with someone, the flame of love could have gone out there a little bit. You know, you were busy with other things. And so passion could have sort of been a little bit on the back burner here for a while. Um or it can be that you maybe, you know, maybe you found new love and it was going well. And, you know, it's like that, that beautiful honeymoon period in the beginning of new love. It's all blissful and it's all beautiful and it's all wonderful. And, you know, oh, baby, like you are everything that I wish for and more. But then obviously after a while, reality starts to kick in, you know. Um, they no longer bring you coffee in bed. You're going to have to go make your own coffee now, type of thing. Um, but with all said and done, I still see things going forward quite beautifully, quite positively. There is a little bit of a slowing down in the pace, but even though the pace of things are slowing down, it's almost like things are getting more beautiful. So um, I remember a friend of mine once said that, you know, she really appreciates her husband because he's one of those people, he brings her coffee every morning and there's maybe a little, like a nice little note there with it and some freshly picked flowers from the garden. And it's all really beautiful, but just, you know what, Adrian, sometimes a person just wants a cup of coffee. And it's like going into that space where it seems like, you know, the honeymoon phase is over, but you're going into a space that is more sort of like substantial, you know, beautiful. And here's a big thing for you going forward. You want to allow things a little bit to unfold, allow life to surprise you. Try to do your best to, nobody's asking you to give up full control, but try to do your best to not feel that you have to micromanage every single thing going through in life. You know, say maybe somebody has a surprise party and you're like, oh my God, how were you able to give me a party? And I didn't know about it, did I mess up? All right. Um, be careful that you don't close yourself in. Um, lock yourself off from trying to consistently do the right sort of thing. Okay. Interesting twist that it took there. <laughs> Interesting twist in this reading. Um, let's clarify. So let's clarify the overall energy. Card went out. Two cards went out. I'm going to take another one from the top. So you got the King of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Don't be too close off to new opportunities, new love, new challenges, um, just because you feel that, you know, as uh, let me put it to you like this. So you see new things coming, new opportunities, new friendship, new people, new whatever. And you say, well, I'd love to do this. However, I, I just need to sort of do this and this and that in order to be fully worthy and fully deserving. You know? I just need to do this sort of healing. I just need to take care of this. You, a lot of times in life, you may feel that you need to um, show up as this sort of perfect version of yourself, fully healed, Ducks in a row, everything is good. And maybe that's the way that you see it, but that might not be the way that other people see it, you know? If you take a look, for example, at somebody like Princess Diana, 
people really related to her because she was being herself. You know, she was she wasn't sort of like doing the whole um, you know expected sort of um, you know monarchy sort of thing. She was like, well, this is who I am, and this is what I'm gonna do, and. You know, she didn't have a life together, I don't have my life fully together, and you don't have your life fully together, because we are in the process of consistently becoming. But what I can tell you is in the space that you are, you might want to open yourself to the idea of receiving, because I feel that Aquarius, you give so much to other people, and you help so many people, and you may not even realize the impact that you had on other people's lives. To you, it might just seem like nothing, because you've got that beautiful humanitarian thing going on. But what's nothing to you could have been such a big thing to someone else, and because of that, they want to give back, and they don't expect anything back in return. So the, the big challenge for you seems to be to open your heart to receive love, without condition okay so be open to receive love kindness without condition all right you don't have to they give you this you have to give them that back and you maybe even need to give it better you don't have to all right somebody sent you a message aquarius i was really thinking about that i hope that you're doing okay no need to reply no need to reply they're just letting you know that they were thinking about you no need to pull yourself from the mud and, and put on a brave face you know, there's no need to kill yourself here. And I feel that some of you are trying to do that. Because you think it's like the respectable thing, the expected thing, maybe from your point of view, not necessarily from other people's point of view. Okay? Um, recent part, you've got a Knight of Pentacles, a Six of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Um, so taking some new steps there towards a new future, towards independence, maybe growing something beautiful there with someone else, also with your inner self, with your inner child. Hard work beginning to pay off. Efforts beginning to pay off. Um, some of you may have needed to do a lot of things that other people don't do because you're, or won't do because your dreams are so big. It's beginning to pay off. Okay? Clarification in your current space. Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. So that is what I was just talking about now. Um, so your heart is opening. I can see you being open for new things and you are encouraged to be open for new things more. There's stability that's coming about in finance and opportunities. You maybe have trouble with someone at work or, you know, someone in your building or something like that. And somehow that balances. You move away, they move away. You reach the middle ground. No needs for fights over there. And also, some of you may really want to be open to the idea that you might be, um, having the past and, and the more sort of non-positive serving part of the past more present in your life than you might care to admit which means you might be missing out on some some really amazing things okay um and because you are the, the cycle of ending in your life yeah with that world next to that five of cups with the endings in life, you know, we always get to see the things that we need to move away from, the things that are holding us back, the connections that are holding us back, the connection with people that are holding us back. And when I say the connections with people, this doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that's physically in your life. You may not even know where they are in this world. There's no way that you can contact them if you want to or wouldn't do it even if you can. But the energetic connection is still there, and it's time to release that, to forgive them, to forgive yourself, to set yourself free, to set them free. Um, because you don't want to go into a next phase in your life with all of this crap from the past. It just, it's like, it's like almost like, like, um, let's say you know the power's going to go out and it's a pitch dark night. And you have to every now and then feel your way towards the bathroom or the kitchen or whatever. And putting all these obstacles in the way, bricks and um, pot plants and whatever, you're going to trip over some of those things. And so it's almost like in, in, in space, in analogy, in energy, you want to move those pot plants and things to the side. You're not saying bad pot plant. You're not just saying pot plant will be bad for me if it's there. So let's move it a little bit to the side. Okay. And even... You know, using that analogy, so I'm moving the pot plant from the middle of the floor to the side. But what does the plant need? Does it need a shady spot? Does it need a sunny spot? So I'm moving it to where it needs to be so the plant is happy and you are happy. Look at forgiveness almost like that. All right? It's about clearing the path for yourself, making a better path for yourself. So you don't sort of, where something can be positive, you almost get to see how positive it could potentially be for you. But then you don't get to experience what seems so far, so near yet so far, you know. 
let's see what do we have in potential outcome. Heart opening. The more you open your heart going forward, the more you can have faith and trust and belief in source, the better your life will become. Okay? Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles and Temperance Energy. Lots of successes going forward, lots of wins there for you, beautiful Aquarius, but also a reminder that as a human being, you are in the continual process of growth, discovering and rediscovering yourself, all right? We never fully have it together because life is consistently expanding. We are consistently expanding. Just because you are an energy that is, and I say this between an inverted commas, contained within this body, doesn't mean that you're not consistently expanding because you live and you exist and you thrive and learn and you are challenged and whatever, win and, and learn on multiple sort of, um, you know, platforms in life, in energy. You know, you, you exist in different dimensions. Um, let's see what you've got in Oracle Energy, beautiful Aquarius. And if it resonates with you, if it's helpful, you appreciate that guidance, Go right ahead and like this video, give it that thumbs up, remember to subscribe, remember to hit that notification bell, so you know when your weekly readings are coming out. Alright, this card wants to come out, who are you? It says, most people are just trying to survive. Alright, so don't measure yourself by other people. And yes, like most people, you are also just trying to survive, but through all of that, you can still find a lot of beauty. Alright? And surviving doesn't mean that you have to struggle. You can thrive through all of it. Okay? Like, like say for example, if you take good care of your health, you're surviving through life, but you're surviving in a very positive way versus really neglecting your health and you're surviving in a way of just holding on to little straws. Okay? It's a message for you at the back. It says, just remember message from the universe. Most people are so beguiled by your charm awed by your confidence and inspired by your choices, sounds very much like Aquarius to me, they simply forget to say thank you, please, and I love you like crazy. As often as they feel the urge, let's not be one of those people. Thank you, please, I love you like crazy, the universe. Obviously, in the same token, it doesn't mean that it's okay for people to step over you, you know. Um, it's about understanding people and accepting them and knowing what you can let, let slide, but it's still not about allowing people to, to sort of take the piss in you. Okay. Um, so Aquarius, that's what I got for you. Changing space. Remember to give yourself some time. You are going through this really beautiful, amazing, incredible space of metamorphosis. You're going in a space where you are learning, you're becoming a better version of yourself. Um, and it's all, in the space where you are, it's a space where you, when you're in medical school in your final year, it, be in the final year space. You know, say it's March, you're in the final year space. Don't be in the space of like, oh my goodness, I'm not a doctor yet. Because you're not meant to be a doctor yet, you're meant to be in the final space where you're sort of rounding off the edges to become that incredible doctor that you have the potential of becoming because now you've got the dream, the passion, the drive, and the knowledge. Okay. So get everything before you just jump into things. All right. So that's what I got for your queries. I hope that it helps. If any of you are open to learning the tarot, you can check out the link in the description for my step-by-step -step tarot reading course. You can check out the link for my free Oracle card reading course. And I will see you next week. Bye.